In this ReWorld Engine tutorial, we are looking at cut parts and providing you with an example of how to cut parts using the Negate and Union tools. Today, I'll recreate this bucket and show you how to cut a hole in the middle as well as how to make the handle. This is a good example as we have to cut parts to create this. So, let's get started. From the toolbar, choose a new cylinder part and resize it using the scale tool. So that I can identify each part in this video, I'm going to rename this part to Bucket 1. In the work bar, under Workspace, click to select the part and type in Bucket 1. The next step is, I want to cut a hole in this cylinder. To do that, I need another part to use as a negate part. A negate part will remove or cut away part of another part. First, let's copy and paste this part to duplicate it, and then I can resize it slightly to form the hole in the middle of the bucket. To make this part smaller, we need to use the scale tool. First select the scale tool, and then click and drag on the center box as shown. We have managed to make it a little bit smaller. For further adjustments, simply resize it again with the scale tool. That's looking good, you can use the move tool to move this part into position. Remember that this part is going to be used to cut a hole in our bucket. You will notice, that I'm leaving a bit at the top, so that I don't cut the hole right through the bottom. To make this a negate part, make sure you have it selected, and then click on the negate icon in the toolbar. You will notice in the work bar, that this part has now been renamed to negate operation. And visually the part is red and transparent. To cut the hole in our bucket, the next step, is to merge these two parts together. We can do this holding down the control key, while clicking both parts in the work bar to select them. And then in the toolbar, to merge these parts together, click on the union icon. Since one of the parts is a negate operation, this part will be subtracted or cut from the other part, leaving us with a hole in our bucket. That merged the two parts into one part, and the remaining part has been named to a union operation part. You can undo a union operation by selecting it, and using the separate icon in the toolbar. Now I can create the other parts for our bucket. I'm just going to duplicate the bucket again, and make the three outer rings, by scaling them and moving them into position. That's one ring done. So I just need to duplicate this two more times, and then move them into position, using the move tool. To make the bucket handle, I'll duplicate one of these rings. And then I'll just move it above the bucket, while I recut the hole in the bucket. To recut the hole in the bucket, I have selected all the parts, by dragging a box around them with my mouse. And now I can click the union tool to cut the hole. Notice how I can cut multiple parts at once this way. There we go, that's looking really good. Let's continue with the handle now. With the handle, I duplicated this part and resized it a bit smaller. And then I can use this part as the negate part, to cut a hole in the center of the handle. Using the scale tool, resize the handle to the size you would like. And make the inner circle part the negate part. When ready, select both parts and click on union to cut the parts. There we go. We need to cut this handle one more time. But first let's move it into position, by using the move tool and set the rotate tool at 90 degrees. The next step is to cut the bottom part of this handle. This time I'll use a cube to cut it. The steps are the same, we just need to position the negate part, in the place where I would like to cut the handle and then select both parts and click on union to cut the handle. Make sure you negate part is big enough and covers the entire area that you want to cut. When that's done, rename the two parts bucket and bucket handle and move the handle back into position. Let's add some final touches to this bucket and also change the appearance and color. To group all the parts for this bucket into a model. First select all the parts, then right click and click on group. This places all the parts into a model. I can rename the model as shown.
This bucket has been union, but I wanted to use a different color for the outer rings compared to the inner bucket. So to do that, I need to separate the parts again so that I can choose colors and materials for each part. After I have separated the bucket parts, I'll select the parts that I want to change the color and material of. In the properties panel, under material I have chosen metallic and steel. Also, I have set the tiling to 0.5 for both the X and Y axis. For the color of these parts, I have set it to the RGB value of 244 as shown. Select the inner bucket part, and change the color and material as shown. That's great, let's quickly select all of these parts again together with the negate operation part, and choose union to recut the hole. That is the bucket completed. I think it's a little too big to be honest. However, we can scale this down by selecting the model and using the scale tool. With all the parts selected, in the properties panel click on anchor. To upload the model, simply right click on it and choose upload. Select a suitable category so that others can find your model easily. And click on the complete button to finish uploading the model. In the material box, you can search and find your model. Initially it won't be published yet, so find it under local material as shown. There is a publish button here, which you can click if you wish to publish your model. That completes this cut parts tutorial. Thank you for watching this reworld engine tutorial, stay tuned for more reworld tutorials, see you in the next one.